We flipped a coin, okay? You and me. You and me. Coin flip is sacred. Y'all ready for a show today, baby? Ah, no time, baby. We've been waiting all week for this. This is where it happens right here, man. We man up, we stand up. We man up, we stand up. Oh, God. Welcome everyone to week 16 of the 2022 NFL season. We are uh, fastly approaching the uh, NFL playoffs. We got bowl games going on a few days before Christmas and two weeks from today, the return of the PGA season, 2023 season, um, I guess technically still a wrap around, but they will reboot up two weeks from today in Hawaii which sounds very nice right now as it is uh, probably most of the country uh, a little cold. It is minus 21 here, so certainly very cold um, for our standards down here a little farther south. Uh, Look, we got a Christmas Eve slate. Uh, So this is the main slate this week. It's Saturday, so most of the games are being played Saturday. Three-game slate on Sunday. Uh, We'll handle that normal i may do a pod tomorrow uh we're not doing a lot of traveling or anything uh saturday i'll be in and out we have a few uh family gatherings and stuff like that um everything will be out for the main slate saturday normal just a day ahead right um be be around sunday saturday morning uh not doing much then before up until lock and all that kind of stuff sunday definitely obviously christmas morning uh probably just put out most of the three game stuff saturday later um like i normally do do like kind of three game showstoppers type deal uh, but i may do a pod on it as well if i get some time tomorrow and we feel feel good where there's not a lot of too many question marks on the injuries um but so make sure you plan in quarterly with saturday we got bowl games tonight well a bowl games tonight they are actually in fort worth a little bit south of here so it's gonna be very cold uh for that bowl game as well but been off to a good start with bowls uh coming off my worst betting week uh of the year in nfl had been really 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 hot um released a six star which was one of the few i do i think it was the ninth or tenth one i've ever done since so since 2015 and it was the vikings which oddly enough uh couldn't have went any worse to start had some life there uh released it at three and a half several people bought the hook to three so that they push a lot of people bet in line um and, and paid off there a little bit but still hurt a little bit bowl game has been great though i think six and two now after last night we had western kentucky and the points got to play tonight um looking forward to tonight, tonight's game be fun always like the uh air force navy those kind of games as well Good for showdown. Uh, makes it a little more interesting on uh, options there as well. If you'd like to join us, again, two weeks away from PGA returning. We got the playoffs. We got bowl season. NBA's rolling. All kinds of stuff going on. Coin gets you 20% off. Includes a risk-free trial, seven days. Come check it out. If you had not tried before, uh, of course. So if you've already done a trial, it just won't let you. This is the way the system does it. Uh, if you really want to try it out that bad uh, and you've already done it before maybe you did a long time ago just reach out to me i think i can override it Uh, but the automated side of it won't let you Um, we'll certainly want you to come check it out we'll be debuting and and releasing the new golf kind of dashboard platform Uh, hope to have it done uh, at least version one before uh, the tournament of champions but certainly sony and then we'll continue to add on to it uh, and build onto it as we go throughout the year. Um, this will bring everything in house onto our our one site, and it'll look a lot like kind of the NFL as far as the platform. Uh, a lot more customizable as well. You'll be able to save your models, um, stuff like that. We're, we're tweaking some things that we know needed to be done, and there was a lot of stuff on the tools that we had that I just don't think people knew was there, just the way we had it laid out. So we're gonna we have that enhancement going right now. I can't wait for you guys to see it, um, and then probably you know our goal is to be everything full flowing by the time we get to the players uh in march but we do want to release it coming out of sony rate and review us on itunes certainly we'll be doing our big march to the masters uh giveaways 
That'll get you into the drawings. I do, you know, some drawings here or there between them. Probably the players will be another big one that's turned into a Millie Maker for golf. Um, so anytime you write and review, that gets you tossed into the drawings. Subscribe and like this video on YouTube. Uh, definitely goes a long way for us. In the comment section, tell me your favorite quarterback wide receiver stack this week. Uh, could be a tight end too if you want. And then um, that'll get you into our, our next drawings we do. I may go ahead and do some uh, randomly. Maybe I do it for the members only type deal um, leading up to Christmas this Sunday as well. Normal format today, uh, 10 NFL games on the slate Saturday. There are no bye weeks. There's uh, obviously a game tonight. Um, Jets, Jags, there is a game, three games Sunday, and then the Monday night game, and then these 10 on Saturday. Uh, Chiefs biggest favorite, 10 points at home. Six of the 10 games uh, on the entire week are, six of the 16 games, I'm sorry, on the, on the entire week, you have six road favorites there. Uh, a lot of lower uh, over-unders, we'll get to that in just a second. Ownership-wise right now, um, you basically got Kansas City, and then a lot of people are going to be going to the Dallas and Minnesota games. So Dallas Eagles, Vikings, Giants. A lot of that is doing because of where they're playing at, being inside a dome. So I know Dallas technically can open it up, but I'm sure it will not be this week. And the reason being, you know, this big storm I just talked about earlier, uh, not only hitting us, and, and, and but hitting by the time we get to even Sunday, most of the country will have been affected in some way, shape, or form. Right now, some of the big games that stick out, um, Bills, Bears, you got five degrees temperature. These, these are real temperatures, so not feel like, so you're probably negative there. Um, 20, 25 mile an hour winds, not gust winds. So th the the winds are even worse. When you start getting into, I mean, there's a big difference between like, oh, 30s, uh, high 20s with some wind. When you start getting down to like, single digit and you still got wind chill like outside right now minus 21 it, it, absolutely especially the wind so we've had wind gusts here in the last hour up to 50 miles an hour uh it just cuts it just pierces through it, it's brutal um saints brown same way seven degrees windy um no sun really you might get some sun in that bills game titans texans similar not as bad a little bit warmer 13 and a little less winds uh but still cold uh very cold Seahawks Chiefs, same deal. Um, not as probably about the other games, just doesn't look quite as windy right now, but something to keep an eye on. You're still gonna be seven, eight, nine degrees uh before the wind chills. Uh even without wind chills, it's gonna be cold. Um Bengals Pats, that's a little bit more on, you know, you're gonna be could be 15, 20 degrees sunny, not quite as much winds. Doesn't sound fun. It's still cold, but not near like you're talking negative windshield type stuff. Lions, Panthers, same way. 20, 25 degrees, 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. Um, in general, you're just seeing so much. To you can just see by the game totals how much they've come down or they opened up at super low, um, which pushes a lot. Not only are you getting dome games, um, going to have – you know, the advantage this week, but you have good team or decent offenses in it. So it's really going to drive ownership where people go. So if you can find those spots in some of these colder games where you think someone can pay off, it certainly it will be advantageous. But, um, you know, I was making sure there's no other main. So Rams Broncos technically are, um, are they even on the main site? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. There's Sunday. So we'll get to that later. So, yeah, only the Vikings-Giants are a true full dome. Uh, and we know the Cowboys, they won't have that thing open. It's going to be deep, a lot better in Dallas and other places, 32 degrees with, with very little wind. But it'll be playing like a dome in there anyway. So, um, those two games get a lot. Kansas City, I think, just because of the matchup, they're used to playing at it. They're at home. Um, people won't be afraid to go there either. So that's kind of where the ownership's going to. Uh, the, you know, this is Thursday morning. Uh, probably post this around lunchtime. Um, and then let's see. All right, we'll go to the playbook. So I'll start with the uh, quarterbacks. I do like Mahomes. Um, it'll probably be a week of you know what, what are the spots you want to try to get different, and if you do get different, um, you know, 
how, how do we go about that, even if it's within some of these popular games or the one or two pieces that can really set you apart? If you're like, I don't care if it's super cold, I'm going to play this guy, uh, Texas Titans, right? But, you know, Henry's probably still going to get ownership. Um, you can take some chances this week, especially large field. Uh, some of these guys that may, as we get closer to kickoff Saturday, I'll probably say Sunday a couple times, but Saturday with the big slate, um, you know, is it quite not as cold? Is it, you know, where you can find a spot or two and go, okay, I'm going to take a chance on that. Um, I do like my homes in general. I, I just think at home, I, it's just a good matchup, right? So we've seen the Seattle defense give up so many points. Their implied team total is 29 and a half. You do have to pay up. <clears throat> so could keep a little bit off, but I still, you know, just like most weeks with quarterback, he's probably going to be around 10, 11, 12%. Um, you start with him and Kelsey, then you got to figure out where you can get your value at. Um, or you maybe you don't do Kelsey and just hope it's a, you know, MVS juju game. That could be a way to get different. That's a way to get different where a lot of people that go Mahomes are probably going to try to stack it with Kelsey and, and then figure it out from there. Maybe maybe you get McKinnon in there because off of last week, but the pivot may be to go Pacheco, who still did okay. It just got kind of overshadowed by uh, McKinnon's big game. That's something to, to keep in mind when you're looking at these uh, the stack part of this. Cousins, uh, I like him as well. At home against the Giants, you know, we saw last week, horrible start, caught fire, you know, just the team did in general. I could see them using that momentum to, to play well. I, I don't necessarily don't know if I hate the Giants in the plus four and a half, talking betting-wise, but I certainly, for $6,300, I don't mind taking a look at Cousins. Um, he'll be up there in ownership simply because of the game environment. I probably, so at values, though, I probably like Jones better. 5600 bucks playing in that same dome. I know they're on the road, but his style and, the, and this team, I think he can do well. Uh, I mean, they're going to be air raiding it down the field and all that, and, and his legs can certainly help. We know Minnesota's defense is suspect at best at certain things. For that price, it really opens up some things. He will be, again, one of the top four or five on quarterbacks, um, but I don't mind paying for that. And then Minshew, you know, the big news um, with Hurts, you know, looking like to be out this week. Um, Forty eight hundred bucks. He he should be the highest owned. Probably the only negative, or people would say, well, the Dallas D is good. And the Dallas D does. They're actually a good fantasy team because of they do make turnovers and all that kind of stuff. But they do give up some points, right? And they can be thrown on a little bit. Minshew might could be a good fade this week if you're trying to. Well, everybody's gonna go there. I'll get different. <clears throat> Just don't get trapped in if you go Minshew and then go pay up for the same people that everybody else wants to pay up. I think that's how you can play Minshew, still be different. Um, either one of those. Are, you know, Jones is going to be not near his own, but still owned at 5600 bucks. Uh, so I, I go either way there. So I like those four quarterbacks. And my fade right now would be Burrow. 7000 bucks. He's kind of he's kind of in that zone. And maybe by Saturday, this is one we go, do look at and go, all right. Weather's maybe not as bad in, in New England. They're going to still want to throw it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just don't like him on the road, and I don't like his, where his price is. I'd rather go down to the cheap or pay up. He's right in the middle, right? And so even I'd rather go to a much lower-owned Justin Fields, who's they're going to be in a very, very, very cold game as well. Probably be a lot on his and Josh Allen's legs, but – I'd rather pay the 500 bucks up and go there if I'm in this range looking for a quarterback. So Burrow's the one that I'm a little light on or fading as we sit here Thursday. Running backs, uh, I like Cook back at home. We saw him house one last week. Um, I think they try to get him more involved. Good price point if you want to save some money off of McHen uh, Henry and McCaffrey or even Barkley. Um, 7,200, I, I don't mind going right back to him. Pollard, I uh, think he could have a pretty good game this week against the Eagles. Always a threat, you know, to have Zeke steal stuff for sure. Um, but at that price, probably it's always going to keep his ownership down because of the Zeke threat right now. 12%, you're saving a pretty good amount. He's even $200 cheaper than Cook. Um, he can, He's just got that breakaway type game that I definitely want some this week. Derrick Henry, uh, if I'm going to pay up this week right now, I, I would probably go Henry over McCaffrey. Both electric, both do it very different ways. Tennessee's going to run the ball a lot. Uh, we know Tannehill's out for the year. We know Henry runs all over Houston in general. Tennessee's at home. It's not going to be very warm. Same deal. A lot of wind. Um, I think they were one of our, yeah, probably the, I had it ranked the third worst conditions uh, behind Bears, Bills, Saints, Browns are the two worst for me. 
I think a lot of Henry in this game. And so Henry and McCaffrey are both going to be high owned. I have them as one, two in ownership. I lean McHenry, I lean Henry right now just because of 200 bucks cheaper, a little less ownership. And I do think it'll, he's a focal point where San Francisco could, they're still going to use McCaffrey, but, you know, IU could have a game. Kittle could have a game. I mean, they have other pieces, even with Purdy at quarterback, um, that could go off and, and take a little bit away from McCaffrey. It's a close one, but since I, if I'm flipping a coin there between the two, that's how I go there. Values, um, already mentioned McKinnon, Pacheco. I lean Pacheco, especially coming off the big game last week from McKinnon. I think he'll get a lot more ownership. They're only 200 bucks apart, both under 6,000. Ownership's going to be kept in check because of the two. It's kind of like the Pollard-Zeke deal, but these two are priced really close. Pollard and Zeke are, you know, 1,000 bucks apart. So I lean Pacheco if I'm going one. I probably don't play both. I probably pick one and, and get overweight over there and just hope the other one doesn't kill me if you want to go down here. I like Foreman, saving some money there uh, at home against Detroit. Um, I have an asterisk there as I deep dive, you know, into tomorrow is, you know, because Chuba had a good game. It, it's close there. Who, who's going to take that over? Detroit's a good matchup to run on. 5300 bucks. I, I still like Foreman. He's going to be low-owned, uh, not only because of just in general, but uh, kind of that two backfield that we're seeing more and more now. We're just going to have to take it as it is. I like Dobbins. I really, really like him if Lamar plays because I think Lamar will do enough to take the defense, make the defense respect it, right? And Lance's defense just gives up points. And so this is a – you know, in Baltimore, I don't think I have it rated as bad. I don't even think it really was on. Yeah, it's it's about like kind of like the Patriots Bills or Bengals game, somewhere in that range. A little colder than the Lions Panthers. So I think I would go um Dobbins there in general, but if Lamar plays, I like it even more because it does put some pressure on that defense. And I think Dobbins is getting Getting his wheels back, shooking off the rust, looks better each week. Um, I like going there for 5,800. My fade right now would be Kamara. <clears throat> I didn't like him last week. Faded him. He was super high owned in the like the world championship deal, the DraftKings. It kind of surprised me a little bit. I mean, I get it to the point, but I just – now I get it. I mean, he's just not a big bruising back, though. And, and you got – it's going to be super cold, super windy. I guess if you wanted to go there, the reasoning would be a lot of um, dump off type stuff w with that weather. But for almost seven thousand, and I still have him in the top twenty five percent owned. Um, I think I'll pass on Kamara right now. <clears throat> Wide receivers, I like Jefferson a lot. It's just, do you want to pay up for him? Can you make it work? Obviously, it'd be tough if you're going like Mahomes and all that. But uh, this is where I say, be careful if you go Minshew stack and then you throw Jefferson in because you save so much money at quarterback or Daniel Jones and run it back with Jefferson that's probably gonna be a common build so if you do that make sure you understand where, where am I getting different than everybody else because um, I still think Jefferson will be owns great spot for him this may be where you build your lineup and go all right I'm gonna go cook for Minnesota and get different at wide receiver instead of Jefferson because not more people are going to be doing the other um, that's just a way to think through it I like St. Brown um, little concern, golf, weather, all that. Good matchup, though. Maybe that gets ownership down, 7800 bucks. So he's one of my highest rated uh, just plays in general this week. Um, definitely don't mind. That would be a one-off type play. Maybe maybe a small mini stack. Um, we'll get to those a little later in the pod. But I don't mind St. Brown again this week. I like Devontae Smith. I think, I think Dallas D will do a lot to – make A.J. Brown the focal point, try to keep him, you know, from gaining momentum. Minshew, you know, quick short passes maybe with Smith. I think it also boosts uh, Goddard, the tight end with Minshew being there, just the way, you know, he may run that offense a little different. You're saving 1500 bucks, and I got him around the same ownership between A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. I'll take the savings at the same ownership and potentially could have just as good of a game, especially in like DraftKings or PPR, because I think he can get a lot of touches. Um, you know, I don't hate either one of them per se. You, you, these guys are going to be – that game's going to be owned one of the top two or three like we mentioned earlier, but I like Devontae a little bit more. And on the other side, I like CD. I'll go right back to him, 7500 bucks. Um, need a big game from him after after last week. Not him necessarily, just Dallas in general, the way they – you know, piss that game away. Um, so I like CD Lamb to have a big game, get back, get this W. Uh, I don't think they can win the division, but they've already clinched the playoffs. Um, they just need some momentum going into the playoffs. I like MVS. I think a lot of people will go to Juju. 
Um, I got them about half the ownership right now. <clears throat> I, I don't mind either one of them. We've seen outside of Kelsey that Mahomes doesn't really, you know, I don't think he's eyeing one of these or the other. I get half the ownership, $1,500 less. Yeah, Juju's doing a little bit better, but I don't hate going to MBS for those savings and the ownership um, play there. Isaiah Hodgins, uh, we saw him get in the end zone last week. Minnesota can be attacked through the air. I think they're going to have to. Jones can make things happen with his feet. Uh, keep the play going a little bit longer for 4100 bucks. I think that's a great value play um, that I don't mind going to. Or Richie James. I think you go either one of them. 3900 bucks, Richie James. I have James owned a little bit more. But I think you can go either way. Noah Brown continually getting more and more looks and play uh, as we go through the season. $3,600. A little bit nervous there just because, of you know, he got the touchdown last week. Um, you know, probably almost a career game. But I still only have about 5 6%. At that price, I don't mind that at all. Um, if you wanted to pivot off of Brown, if you felt he was getting chalky, you go to Marshall for Carolina against Detroit. Um, but I actually have him right about the same, same price, same ownership. So take your pick there. Fade would be for me, it'd be Chris Moore right now. Um, I, I think it's going to be difficult for Houston in general on the road there. Um, cold, you're, you're been fighting hard the last two weeks, but when you get, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just a different kind of cold. Now they're not going to be one of the worst games. We already talked about that, but um, you know, it's still probably single digit windshield, you know, eight, nine degrees feel like 10, 15 miles an hour. Um, and he's just gaining a lot of ownership. Now he's, he's, I got him in the top 25% owned. I got him number, you know, probably top eight owned right now at 4,700. I'd rather go down to those guys. I just mentioned, I save money. Um, and, and I just think those environments are a lot better than a Chris Moore this week. Tight ends. I like Kelsey rinse and repeat for me there. You can play him like a wide receiver. If you want go, it's a great week for double tight end. There are some really, I didn't really have a fade. We'll get to that in a second, but some solid tight ends. Plus you get quick, short passes. And especially when you're talking about the guy, the games are going to be brutally cold, brutally windy, um, those guys get a little bummed because it's just a short five yard pass or this or that. And the wind then gets affected as much, whatever. Um, I like Kelsey, 8,000, you know, find the money elsewhere. If you want to go there, I like Hawkinson 4,900. He'll probably be higher on cause he's in the good weather environment. Um, I like Schultz, um, you know, he can always have a game for Dallas, He's going to be up there seven again because of the environment, better conditions. Uh, I think he'll probably get more ownership than he normally would have, um, but still only eight nine percent, forty two hundred bucks, um, cheap compared to you know Kelsey and those guys. Um, Bellinger, okay, I like him thirty three hundred dollars. Probably you know a good pay down option. Still not getting steamed up too much. Got around seven percent. Um, been getting more looks from Daniel Jones lately. I don't mind saving the money there. If I had to pick a fade right now, I would probably say Kettle. Um, similar to CMC that for the price of money, yeah, he's got savings a little bit, especially off of a Kelsey, but many more options in San Francisco for them to go about than just him. Whereas if Lamar's back, I love Andrews, right? I'll put an asterisk there. I don't mind having Andrews this week against Atlanta if Lamar's back. Um, Goddard, I like him, but it could be Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown. Miles Sanders could come back from absolutely doing nothing last week. Schultz has, you know, Lamb, Brown, Gallup, Hawkinson, Jefferson, Thielen. I mean, so now Kelsey's the difference there, but Kelsey's 2500 bucks over all these guys. So maybe Kettle will be the one, but I, I don't hate all these. These top seven tight ends that I have ranked this week, Kelsey, Hawkinson, Schultz, Goddard, Andrews, Kettle, Bellinger, yeah, I can make. I love all of them. Um, he's the highest owned with the price um, that, that I would fade if I was looking at one right now. Defense wise, I like 49ers. One thing I would caution is be careful about just looking at this week low over under total type stuff because we, we you actually don't want those games. I mean, unless they truly get the shutout to get all those bonus points, I think you're not going to see as much passing and stuff. So a lot less turnovers. Um, you know, things like that. I, I don't want just to, everybody's running the ball all the time. Your defense aren't going to score unless they just happen to get a scoop and score type of deal on a fumble. I'd rather get into an atmosphere where I think, oh, there's going to be some passing. It's not as bad. Um, so I like the 49ers at home against Washington. 49ers are going to score. Um, I didn't even look at San Fran's weather. Yeah, 60 degrees. <laughs> so 
Um, probably one of the hottest games on the slate. <clears throat> Washington's got to throw the ball to try to keep up. You know, get, get, get some turnovers there. Don't mind them at all. Don't mind paying up a defense this week. Ravens, um, same way. Especially like the Ravens if Lamar plays because I think Baltimore scores more. Atlanta, while they don't throw, a, you know, just a ton, um, rookie quarterback, <clears throat> a lot cheaper than – or not a lot. Yeah, 700 bucks cheaper than 49ers. I don't mind going there. My cheap D-ish that I would go to would be the Chiefs, 2900 bucks at home against Seattle. Same thing. Higher scoring total than everything else, but Geno's probably going to have to throw a lot. So that, that's kind of where I'm at this week. Really like the 49ers and Chiefs as my top two plays. Uh, could see the Ravens being an option there just because they've been stepping up their game. And if Lamar plays, I could put them in the mix as well. Some gut feel plays for me. <clears throat> Get some coffee real quick. I like Justin Fields. Not a great environment. Not much of anything, but with the legs and the way he can, Buffalo's D just isn't perfect. Or I'm mean, not perfect. They're not. They're good. They're average at best to me. Um, I think you can make some things happen. Maybe you put a Cole commit in there because he's going to be getting some short passes in that. You know, I mean, they're these are one of the two worst, so it's going to be very very cold. Um, it's a flyer type deal. Seventy five hundred bucks. No one's paying that this week for a guy playing in that. If they are, they're just going to go to, you know, Allen or like I said earlier, bro. This is a this is a gut fill. Want to get different from the field? Large field MME play. It, you just and you can play him naked. That's the best part. Go play fields and build, build your team with with your chalky quarterback, whoever it is, Mahomes, Allen, and just flip it to fields and then maybe you have to make one tweak and see how that i mean you, you just gain so much leverage uh, on a situation like that i don't mind swift i think he's getting uh more and more um could have a bust out game coming soon again ownership's always gonna be down and these double running back setups like him and jamal williams i like him i think his price is still too cheap this week 5500 bucks i like slayton um he's higher owned than the Hodgins and uh, Richie James, but I certainly don't mind going there. He's still 5200 bucks. He's not that much more expensive than those guys, although significant savings, $3,900 um, and 4100 bucks. but it's not like you're going up to 7000 for him. So I don't mind Slayton. And then Iuk. I've kind of mentioned it all, Pa, kind of the theme. I don't mind going to Iuk. He's the lowest own of, of these playmakers for San Francisco right now. Uh, obviously with Debo out and Jimmy G out, I can get some there. You're in a better game. You know, 22 is their 23 almost is their team total right now. Um, he could be a one-off. So, so he's, again, gut feel plays. I just have a gut feel about him. I think he rates out well against that matchup. Uh, so I like him this week. My favorite stacks, um, pretty easy by this point. Main one would be Mahomes, Kelsey, MVS. You could add Juju if you want. I, I like the ownership savings from MVS. Um, you could, I mean, you could add, you know, Tony or, or Hardman, any, any of those guys, if you want to, you know, do – if I'm doing two stack with, with Mahomes, it would probably be Kelsey and MVS, and then the others, however you want to do that. Uh, and then the other one would probably be Cousins, Jefferson, uh, Hawkinson would be one I like. Or um, I give a third one today would be – I like that one, but I, I like Daniel Jones. I just think this one will be more popular. So that, this is where I think – my favorite would be like Jones, Slayton, Barkley, Jones, Slayton, Hodgins, whatever, run it back with Jefferson. I think everybody's going to be doing that, a lot of people. So to be a little different, maybe you do the Cousins stack. You got to pay up a little more, but Cousins, Jefferson, Hawkinson, run it back with one giant could be a way to get different. People will still do that, but I think that's less obvious than the going Jones, who's your saving 700 bucks, um, and you need the savings this week. Some mini correlated uh, within these. I like Cook. You can do Cook, Slayton, Cook, Hodgins. Um, you know, any, any of the wide receivers. Slayton would be the one I like the most. But price factored in, you go Hodgins or Richie James with with Cook, and that's it. Maybe you just go those two, uh, one off each, and then build uh, out of a different game script. I like Pollard and Devontae Smith. I think that's a good way to get different. Use them Pollard, um, running it back with Smith instead of like an AJ Brown. I like as a kind of a sneaky or low owned would be Foreman and St. Brown. I think those two could wind up with a lot of the volume out of that game. Um, Chuba's a threat. We know that, but I don't mind that one as well. I like you go Barkley running back with Jefferson and Hawkinson. 
um, or just Jefferson, just Hawkinson, uh, and, and then get out of that game environment go and, and build some mini stacks around it. Um, maybe that's one where you go, you start with Fields or one of these lower-owned quarterbacks that you like, do a mini out of there, and then maybe you avoid the Dallas game altogether and, and hope it works out for you. Again, that's a way to be a little bit different, a little bit mini core layer type stuff. Um, my sneaky kind of stack of the week would be going Purdy, like Kittle, Iuk, and don't use CMC. Um, or maybe you do use them because not many people are using what I got Purdy at right now. You know, 4% on at 5500 bucks. Maybe that is you eat the McCaffrey chalk with Purdy and then go either Kittle or Iuk. Running back with like a McLaurin, um, great way to be different this week, uh, an environment that not many people are getting into, especially stacking it. People are going to go pick off a McCaffrey, maybe a Kittle, maybe um, maybe McLaurin get a little bit, but but not not doing a mini stack like that. Uh, and, and it's cheap, right? So now I've got a cheap stack no one's doing that still has good upside. And now I can go throw in a Jefferson or a who Henry, try to get Henry and McCaffrey in the same lineup with not without using you'll see people do that but they're using Minshew they're going to use Minshew whoever uh McCaffrey Henry doing it with Purdy instead makes you totally different um you know so that's just a way to kind of think outside the box and stuff like that favorite against the spread this week Bears plus eight Titans minus three my upside of the week is actually the Jaguars tonight they're technically underdogs I think they beat the Jets um but I also don't mind the Giants I think the Giants could sneak around and, and get a win four and a half point dogs on the road to Minnesota um so if you want to go there underdog we just renewed with them for the entire 2023 season uh, excited to have them as a partner as always 100 percent up to a hundred dollar match right now so dollar for dollar up to 100 bucks use the code gup they just released all of their big playoff best balls. Um, if you're a member and, and you're not familiar with that kind of stuff, you can go into the Slack, um, GC Warrior Room Slack, check out. We actually have a channel that's props, prize picks, underdog, stuff like that. I posted those formats, um, what they have this year, which they got the glutton or the gauntlet, one million in prizes. That's twenty five bucks an entry. The mitten. 150k in prizes, five dollars an entry. The big mitten, 200k in prizes, 250 dollars an entry. Um, and you can go see how that is. There's a lot of chatter in there. Um, you can go to NFL DFS too. They talk about it. Um, you know, some strategy. Posted two videos that Underdog sent me on um, some best ball strategy for the playoffs. It is different. You know, you're trying to predict who's going to win, who's going to be high owned. Um, only one team gets a buy. But they're more likely to play. Those two that get the bye play all three games. Um, can you find the team that's going to go have a chance to play in at least three, maybe four? Uh, all that stuff, you know, d tons of stuff there. I'm going to dig into it a little bit too, uh, you know, a little slower right now. Um, working on a bunch of stuff behind the scenes, but um, I enjoy playing it. I know we got several guys in there to play it and, and, and enjoy it as well. My pick on this week for underdog, uh, I, I got three each week. My three I like this week, Jefferson over half a touchdown, Brady over 268 and a half passing yards, and Waddle over 65 and a half receiving yards. That'll pay you six extra money. You can add on to that and make it a – I don't remember how high they go up. But you can go, I think you can add up to two more. Uh, I think it's a 20X payout. Prize picks, um, same deal with them. Dollar for dollar matchup to 100 bucks. GUP, G-U-P, uh, is the code. Same code, same deal, same link in the description. Uh, now they you can do six picks with them and go, get up to 25X, and you still make money if you go four out of six or five out of six, a little bit. Um, so I like that. I like their setup there. Love underdog for the best ball stuff. Um, price picks probably slightly better to me on the, these kind of pick and plays. Um, but I, I use both for many different reasons. I like Watson under 155 and a half passing yards. Henry over 105 and a half rushing yards. Lamb over 73 and a half receiving yards. Waddle over 63 and a half receiving yards on there. I uh, can't remember what 4X pays you, but if you add two more to it, you can get up to, you know, whatever two you like, get up to 25X on that. Don't forget, Coin gets you 20% off now, includes a seven-day risk-free trial. If you're big on PGA and you want to wait, you know, a week, then you'll get all of the next week's stuff. But right now, you could just, do, just sign up for a weekly, and you'd get this whole week free. Your first week, you'd only pay whatever 
depending on what, which uh, package you get and you get, you'd get right to PGA or just buy a month package first week, still free. Um, and then you get five, you're basically getting five weeks for that month, uh, which would include, you know, these last, uh, push to the playoffs for NFL, all the bowl season stuff we got going on. Nice. Finally, a pretty nice, um, slate Tuesday. And there'll be several good slates as we start getting more bowl games on a day. Uh, right now it's been a lot of two game or like today's showdown. There's only one game tonight. So tons of chatter in college football and you absolutely, whether it's with us or someone else, if you want to be competitive in college football DFS during the bowls, you need a community, um, like, like we have or anybody else. Everybody has, I think we were probably one of the first to, to go to the, the, the live messaging type stuff. Ours is great. And, and this is big for that, especially because there's so many, are they playing? Are they out the portal, the tra- you know, transfer portal going pro, um, let the young guys get some looks, you know, in the bowl games. And you got to be right there to the last minute almost on each of these slates to, to get that information. People surfing, you know, the web, Twitter. Uh, we have inside people that, you know, have access to their local teams a lot more than others. So it, it's a great time. Good time to just try it out for a month. Um, I don't even know what I need to I need to add this to the pod. So I just know. I know we're one of, if not the cheapest out there in general. So, yeah. You get 20% off, so it'd be 8 bucks for a week right now if you just do the content membership, um, which would be everything but the tools. You want the tools, especially for PGA then. You know, it's, you know, be what, 10, four, four, 16 bucks for a week. I'd probably do the monthly because you get, um, let's see, so you get probably 40 bucks for a month, and you get everything with that. Plus, you get the free week, so – Try that out. You can upgrade anytime you want. So if you want to try out for a week and go, man, I do like this upgrade, your discount still stays with you. So take a look at all that. Certainly enjoy uh, everybody this year. It's been a great year. Uh, Plenty to come. I'll be doing some PGA preview stuff. Um, Probably doing some videos once we get more and more of the golf tools up over the next couple of weeks, um, just so people can see what all we have on there. Um, I'll be around all Sunday, Saturday morning. Don't think we have much going on then. So that, you know, that allow me to do a chat or at least be in a GC Warrior Slack channel leading up to kickoff Saturday. Uh, and then PayPal. I, I'm going to say this on every pod leading up for the next probably couple months. But if you were on PayPal with us, because we have a ton set to renew here in the first three months of the year, um, we stopped using PayPal last March. And so you'll get an email. You should. Sometimes it's been going to junk or, uh, or spam and all that kind of stuff. Um, telling you, hey, we're not using PayPal no more. You're set to renew. Here's your code. It keeps your pricing exactly the same. Um, use this code. Go go sign up and nothing's changed. So your pricing is the same. If you miss that or didn't see it or don't remember, um, email me, you know, gup at gupscorner.com or support at gupscorner.com or DM me on Twitter, DM me on Slack. Uh, we'll get that all, all that information for you. A lot of you are set to renew uh, in this first three months because this will actually be our fourth year live uh, on the site. Uh, was around another year and a half before that on the free stuff. Um, so a lot of you have that, and we, we we went live in February. So a lot of people renew um, January, February, March each year heading up to the Masters. So looking forward to the year. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Uh, Stay warm out there for most of the country, and we'll talk to you soon.